I didn't see you there. No, let's try that again. Oh, hey, I didn't see you. What's up, bitches? Yo. Hey guys, it's been a while. Today I'm gonna vlog about something that is really really close to my heart, I guess. So let me give a brief history for you guys. I only really got into video making when I was in my third year in university. So from then to now, I've put up quite a few videos. You know, great. Things are great. Being able to tell stories or make people laugh is kind of really why I do the videos and when the final product comes out you just have that huge sense of uh, satisfaction the main thing that I want to talk about in this video is why I decide to chase my passion now first let's look at this in the form of a time frame timeline as a Singaporean your expected lifespan in this country is about 80 years pretty decent pretty good and I would say that majority of us plan our life looking at this time frame of 80 years when you hit your 20s and mid 20s you should be able to get a decent job try to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend and try to settle down and have kids before the age of 30 and then when you're 30 to 40 it's about you know trying to hit for that managerial position in this so-called company start to raise your kids and then hopefully this goes on until you are 50. You know, by 50, you should have already done enough investment. You are able to, you know, achieve this thing called the financial independence. 50 years old, you're able to retire. Best. When you retire, you know, ideal case, you bring your wife or your husband, you go to travel around the world, travel for like a few years, come back. Maybe your kids will have children. You just stay at home and you take care of your grandkids. And hopefully at that time, you are able to age gracefully die peacefully when you hit you know, 80. Does that sound familiar to you? It's, it kind of like is the standard plan that the society have for us. People say, this is just all I want. I don't need to be super rich. I just want this, you know, peaceful, simple life. You sure, dude? You sure that is not asking for too much? And here comes the greatest irony. All of us know that life is unpredictable. Maybe you just suddenly lose a lot of money from some of the investment you made. You may get retrenched. Okay, let's say, let's say at 50, you're able to retire. And like, yes, you get to do what you want to do. But are you sure your body is gonna age? You know, your mind won't be as nimble as before. To me, the most risky thing to do is to not chase what you love. I think it is more naive to believe that you can get to do what you want to do at a later age. I bet on the chances that something is going to happen to me at some point of my life. That's why it's all about now. Now, I have to do what I want to do. I need to push myself to continue on this track to achieve this so-called dream that may or may not happen. And some of you might be thinking like, you know, Kenneth, I don't think you're good enough to put yourself at a position where you can dream this big. But that is exactly why I'm working on it. You don't get good overnight. Behind one painting or like one song, it's hundreds and hundreds of hours put into it. Someone may find success overnight, but I believe it is because of the years of work they've put into it that lead up to that moment of success. You just need to keep working on it long. And there's something that I feel that people have been looking at this whole chasing the passion wrongly because the first thing that people always check is how can I make a living out of this? The reason why you do what you do should always be about how much you love doing it. I think that's really important for me because I know that I can't be motivated by factors such as money. To me, it always boils down to a very simple call to tell stories and make a difference to this world. It sounds very... <laughs> cliche but I think that's genuinely what I want to achieve. I hope that some of my videos are relatable and remind them that they're not alone in this world. Yeah money is always important. I mean as much as I can be a you know crazy dreamer or whatever I know the practical side of life which is why I am in this current status that I'm actually having a full-time job and I'm taking whatever free time I have out of this full-time job to do you know videos. It's all about how you manage your time well. If you can manage your time well, you can do hundreds, 
hundreds of things. I'm not chasing for progression in my current job. To be honest, it's really just the money. <laughs> but at the same time, I constantly look out at what kind of skill sets I can gain at my job. Whatever money I'm earning now, I'm investing back in myself. I believe in myself. <laughs> it's a bit narcissistic, but if I don't believe that I can achieve it, you know, it defeats the whole purpose of this, you know, journey. The money that I've earned, I, I try to invest back in equipment, in picking up skills, in just, you know, hopefully I can make better quality videos as time goes on. How do I make money out of this at the end of the day? I don't know. Maybe if my YouTube channel somehow goes to a few hundred thousand subscribers, whoa, will I be able to reach that target? Maybe, maybe not. But I would believe that if I stay on track, continue to practice this craft, I'll be so good at this that people will come to me, pay me money to do what I love to do. Idealistic? Yes. Impossible to achieve? No. For those people who have worked with uh, clients as a freelancer, you know that client wants what you must give what. To me, I find that very miserable. At the end of the day, I still have to believe in my work or else I will just, you know, I'll throw that work away. I think one of the biggest excuse that people give about not chasing what they love is about starting a family. But there was this example that Larry Smith gave during his TED talk, which I'll link below, that uh, one day if your kid comes up to you and tell you like, uh, I want to be a pop star. How are you gonna answer your kid? No lah, don't be a pop star lah. Singapore, where got pop star one? Then your kid maybe will tell you like, but this is my dream. Why are you gonna answer him? Boy, I had a dream too, until you were born. Is that what you want to say? Or do you want to tell your kid that, hey, Go for it, just like I did. And, and I think that is exactly what I want to achieve. Stop giving myself excuses to not do what I want to do. There is always going to be 101 great excuses to not do something. But you only need that one good reason to get things done. To be honest, I think whatever I'm saying here is nothing new. All of you guys know about all this. I have to agree that chasing dreams and you know, passions is not something for everybody. But why be satisfied being everybody? I will continue to do what I want to do. To put money into all these things. I'll continue to think about new films, I guess. To put out for you guys to watch. This is also the reason why I don't have a lot of savings. <laughs> because I'll buy things like... A new drone. Hey guys! Thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I pushed out a vlog and uh, I don't think this is a very very funny vlog but I'm just trying to convey some of the things that I really believe in. Maybe, you know, give you guys a better understanding of why I do the things I do. I'm gonna change up some stuff. Ken in Japan series, which is the travel vlogs that I've done for my Japan trip in January. I'm gonna put that as a sub-series. Meaning, I'm gonna bring back more vloggings. The travel vlogs will come out less frequently. Hopefully, that will make you guys a bit happier. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like our Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Hey. What's up?